Okay, this lesson is going to focus on measures of center, and measures of center is just sort of a fancy way of saying averages. So you've probably seen these before, but you might need a bit of a refresher. So the mean, median, and mode are three different ways to give us an idea of what the average of something is. So the first one in the mean is probably the one that's the most commonly used, and it's probably when people talk about average, uh, what they mean is they've calculated the mean. So the way that we do this is we um, add up all of the data that we have. So we would do 56 plus 67 plus 89 plus 82. And I'm just going to put dot, dot, dot. So we add all of them together. OK, so I've got 10 scores there. And I would divide by the number of scores I have, which again is 10. OK, so I've added up all my data and I divide it by 10. So when I add that, uh, add up all the scores, I get 680 as a total divided by 10 gives me a mean of 68. So that means the average or the mean score on this test was 68. Okay, for the median, uh, the median is the middle number of a set of data. And in order to find the middle number, okay, we have to put the data in order first. So we'll start, we'll do it in ascending order. So the smallest value first. So the smallest one there is 14. Uh, I'm going to cross them off as I do them so I can keep track of what I'm doing. 56 would be the next smallest, and so on. Okay, so there I've got all of my data in order. And because I've got 10 pieces of data, the middle here is going to split the data right in half. So I'm going to have five on one side and five on the other. So the median is going to be the middle of those two numbers. So in order to find the middle, we're actually just finding the, the average or the mean of those two numbers. We add them together, 68 plus 77. And we divide that by 2. So 68 plus 77 is 145. If I divide that by 2, the middle there is 72.5. So the median value is 72.5. Okay, so if we look, if we compare that with the mean, it is slightly higher than what we get. So it's important to, to look at your data and choose the best measure um, the best measure of center to use. So the mean and median can be used for numerical data. But obviously, if we have um, categorical data, we wouldn't be able to calculate the mean or the median because there's no way of putting those categories in order. And also, uh, we can't add up categories together. OK, so the mean and the median are used with numerical um, data. Now, one thing that we have to consider are outliers. OK, and outliers are values that are either significantly higher or lower than most of our data. So take a look at the, um, the math scores. Are there any outliers in there, do you think? So take a look at the scores. Are there any that are much higher or much lower than the rest? So if you look at this one here, 14, to me, that's an outlier. So the rest of the class has got, you know, 56 or above, but one person has got 14. So a score like 14, because it's the only really low score, is going to make your um, your mean value uh, a lot lower than it would be if you hadn't included 14. And you can go ahead and try and calculate the mean without 14 to see what kind of difference that makes. However, because the median um, the median is just the order data, if this first value here was 14, or if it was something else like 50, okay, so it was just another low score, your median wouldn't be affected at all because you'd still have the same order there. So outliers have a big um, impact on the mean, but they don't really impact the median so much. So that might be um, a reason for choosing to use one calculation over another, okay? Now the mode, the mode comes from the French word uh, fashionable. So the mode is the most popular value or the most um, frequent value that comes up. 
Okay, in this case here, sorry, most frequent. Sorry, that's a bit messy. Okay, in this case here, we don't actually have any values that are repeated more than once. So in this case, there's actually no mode. Um, but if, say, two students had scored 68, then the mode would be 68. And the mode doesn't always give us a good representation when we have numerical data because, I mean, you could have had um, two students get 90%, but the rest of the scores be like this. And, and if I said, oh, the mode, and I was using the mode as the average, is 90, that wouldn't really represent the data very well because just because two students got 90 doesn't mean that has anything to do with the average. Where we use the mode a lot is when we look at categorical data. Okay, and uh, the mode often comes in handy when we have group data like we did in our last uh, lesson. And you would maybe look at what's called the modal class, which is the class with the highest frequency. Okay, so uh, right, those are our, our, um, our four measures of spread, the mean, median, and mode, and then we're going to look at how we can do some calculations with our CAS calculator. Right, so I'm going to show you two different ways that you can calculate the mean and the median using your CAS calculator. Um, the first thing you have to do is put your data into a spreadsheet in the same way that we did uh, with all the other data we've been using. So I've got all those math scores that I had in the previous example there. And uh, I've called this column maths test. So make sure that you give your columns a name and then put all, uh, all of the 10 scores into your calculator now. Okay, the first way we're going to do this is by uh, pressing on the home key. And then we're gonna click on the little calculator symbol and add calculator. So if I click on 1.1 here, I still have my spreadsheet and now I've got a calculator. And very simply, I'm just gonna type in mean. Your calculator recognizes that as a function. And then in brackets, I'm gonna put what I want the mean of, which was the column called maths test and press enter and it gives you a mean of 68 which is what we had before so that's good news okay uh for the median it's exactly the same we would put in median sorry i a n and then maths test and press enter which gives it to you as a fraction first of all so if you want it as a decimal just press control enter and we get a median of 72.5 so this is a nice quick easy way to use your calculator to calculate the mean and the median going back to the spreadsheet there's not actually a way for us to calculate the mode but your calculator will put all of the data in order and in that way you'd be able to spot uh, if there was a mode or not so i'll show you how to do that next so if you click on menu the first uh, option you've got there is called actions and number six at the bottom is sort. So it says sort by A. That means it's asking you, do you want column A sorted? And then you can choose if it's in ascending or descending order. Ascending means you're starting with the lowest value and going up. So I'll keep it as ascending and press OK. And now if you take a look, I've got all of the numbers in um, ascending order there. OK, and so if I had any repeated values, I'd be able to spot this really easy because now my list is in order. OK, the more sort of sophisticated way for uh, calculating the mean and the median, which gives us a lot of data, is if we um, click back onto menu. And now if I go to statistics, which is number four. And I just press number one, stat calculations. Uh, you're going to click number one for, for now, one variable statistics, because you've only actually got one variable that you're measuring here, which is the maths test. So I'm going to click number one, and it says number of lists one. We're going to press OK for that, because I've got the list highlighted that I need. And in this first column, the list that you choose is the list that, that you've called maths test, and that's all you've got to change for now. So once you press OK, you get a lot of information. So I'm going to highlight to you the information that you need for now, but we're actually going to use some of the other stuff later on. So do you see that X with the line on top of it? We, we call that X bar. 
And that is the symbol that's used for the mean. Okay, so if you ever see x with the bar on top, they're talking about the mean. And as you can see, we've got the value of um, 68, which we know is the mean. Uh, the one below, just for your information, that kind of um, symbol there beside the x is a Greek letter sigma, and it stands for the sum of x. So it basically just means the total of, of all the values added together, which we knew, again, was 680. So that might be useful for you at some point. Uh, we're going to skip down. N just tells you the number of pieces of data you had. So we had 10 pieces of data. Minimum of x is the minimum value. So 14 was the minimum value. Uh, we're going to sk skip this one, but we'll use it in another uh, video. Median is our median, obviously, 72.5. And the maximum value there is 90. So this function is quite helpful because it gives us a, a lot of information at once. And we don't have to do uh, several different things just to get all of our statistical information. OK, so that's it. Um, hopefully you're all right with calculating mean, median and mode for now. Uh, and you're ready to work on some of the questions to practice this.